Hi, my name is Rich Bowen and I'm the community manager for the CentOS project. The first thing that I need to mention, and this is for the last time, I need to remind you that CentOS Linux 8 is scheduled to go end of life on December 31st. There's a lot of information on our website and in the press as to what this might mean. And you have a lot of options at this point. The CentOS project obviously prefers that you migrate to CentOS Stream 8 at this time, or perhaps try out CentOS Stream 9. But there are a lot of other options out there, and we would encourage you to be informed and make the decision that makes the most sense for you. We're very pleased to announce that CentOS Stream 9 is now available for you to download and try out. Now those of you that have been paying close attention know that it's already been available in one form or another for a couple of months, but we've kind of reached the point where we're more comfortable telling people to go ahead and try it and use it. CentOS Stream 9 is the branch that will become RHEL 9 later on, and so if you want to influence RHEL and the larger enterprise Linux ecosystem, this is the place to do that work. At the same time that we did the CentOS Stream 9 launch announcement, we rolled out the new designs that our artwork SIG has been working on to our websites. This includes CentOS.org, Lists.CentOS.org, and various others of our web properties. So we encourage you to have a look at that, and many thanks to the people that worked really hard on this, particularly Elaine Delgado, who worked on the design components of this. As you might know, we're coming up on the expiration of some of the current Board of Directors terms, and two of our directors have opted to step down at the end of this term. The Board of Directors will be considering nominations that have already come in, and will be voting on these nominations in January. So we look forward to introducing you to our new directors early next year. Another part of the Stream 9 announcement is that Apple 9 is now ready for developers to start contributing packages to. So at the moment, there's going to be less there than you're used to, but these packages will start to arrive, and we encourage you to be part of that process. If you would like to participate in packaging things for Apple, you'll find the necessary information on blog.centos.org, as well as in the links uh, below this video. We're starting to return to conferences, and so if you're planning to go to a conference in the coming months, maybe you'll see us there. In October, we were at All Things Open. In September, we were at Supercomputing, and in December, just last week, we were at OLF, formerly known as Ohio Linux Fest, and now known as Open Libra Free Conference. Coming up real soon is FOSDEM. Now, you may have noticed that they announced that that will be held online, and we will be, as usual, holding a dojo on the day before FOSDEM starts. The information about that event, the annual FOSDEM Centus Dojo, is on our blog and on the wiki under events, and a call for presentations for that event is currently open. If you've been doing something interesting in or on CentOS, we encourage you to submit a talk to that event and tell the community what you've been working on. In case you missed it, I want to let you know that in October we held an online dojo, and all of the content for that is recorded and available on the CentOS YouTube channel. This includes a question and answer session with the Board of Directors, which included a lot of interesting questions around CentOS Stream and timelines and what our plans are for the future. For more details on any of these topics, you should read the November and December community newsletters, which have a lot more information and links to where you can get yet more information. On a personal note, I want to thank everyone who has participated in the CentOS project over the last 12 months. During that time, we've worked hard to make the CentOS project more open, more transparent, give more insight into how our governance works, and expand our SIGs to reflect what people are doing on top of the CentOS platform. During the last 12 months, we've added four new SIGs. We have made our Board of Directors meetings completely public. 
We have opened Board of Directors nominations to the whole community and put four new directors on the board to represent your views more closely. And we will continue that in the coming year. So thank you for being part of our community. We wish you a prosperous and happy new year. And for those of you that celebrate at this time of year, we wish you a wonderful holiday season. Thanks a lot. Again, my name is Rich Bowen, signing off until next time.